Hello, Comrade Snake here again, getting ready for episode two of Manor Lords. Let's load this back up. So where we left off, we just finished building the church. We started getting some uh, decent uh, buildup happening. Oh, you see, as it zooms right on in. Perfect. All right, let's pause for a second to recap. So currently we have uh, our, uh, we have seven families total. That's 21 total people. We have enough living space for uh, seven uh, families. Or sorry, excuse me, that's uh, how many families region are currently. We can currently accommodate to increase real expand plus three. So I believe that means we have, wait. Hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we don't have enough space to accommodate more oh but we have three under construction okay i wasn't quite sure exactly how that worked out there but yes we have three under construction right okay soon we'll have enough for 10. anyway we just finished building um our nice church uh, which was important to get us to level two uh potentially for all of our buildings but i don't quite want to upgrade the homes yet because i think we want to get a little more people and a little more flexibility uh, of our workforce here and a, a couple other kind of things I want to build up of some resources uh, before we go right to uh, upgrading the houses because once we upgrade them they will require more advanced goods and, and resources and etc for example I believe level two is where they start needing ale um, and we don't have anything ready to make that yet uh, because that requires barley which we did not really have fertility for um you know maybe if we get over into this region at some point uh we could we could look like they had good fertility for that so um, that's something i'd like to do but we don't have the ability to do that quite yet uh we need more influence or gold um i think, it, I think it's either or i think yeah influence oh no claim with king's favor or claim with so we just need more influence or the king's favor which i don't know if that's implemented in this version yet but either way, we need uh, we need that, which will require some more advanced buildings and such to get there. Um, and here's our marketplace. Now, the other thing I was thinking about prior to this whole thing, um, well, originally I had the idea of we want to keep this kind of open so that we can maybe get farms in there. But because it's kind of far away to rye cultivation, which is what we need for that region. And farming is very, very labor intensive and pretty difficult. Uh, it just, it's probably just doesn't really make much sense at this juncture to even bother thinking about that. Um, and part of that reason is also the marketplace travels along the roads and has a like somewhat limited range um, as far as access that uh that homes and such can have uh for you know distribution of goods so if i left this open here i would kind of have to start building my houses like probably something like over here or another set over here and the market's just not gonna reach very far past here so it'll probably make more sense to continue to build up homes in this area as well as whatever else industry that we want to get in there that we can kind of make this a central area for distributing along these various various roads that we might build out more as well um, as this goes on so that was something i had to think about and uh, i think we're going to abandon the idea of rye cultivation and just focus on developing our other industries in this area and make this kind of a the central hub um, at least you know, a couple things like this stone camp and stuff and the wood the wood camp we have uh, already um, out for here and we'll eventually get the iron deposit and all that jazz um, you know that that's still gonna stay kind of sort of close but it'll be fine also that's that's right I was trying to new way clay somewhere clays over here anyway right, well we'll be needing clay pretty soon the other thing is that uh, I looked into a little bit about how the trade system works, and that's something we're going to want to probably get involved in pretty soon. Um, but we would probably need a few more finished goods. We already have leather, which we could be, which we'd probably be able to trade um, f 
for some uh yeah there it is 17 leather we'd be able to trade some of that leather for money and that's probably a good idea to help uh spur our, our economic growth um so that's something i want to look into as well and i believe we have to build that along this trade route over here um and yeah so anyway let's let's get to it let's let some things build up a little more because we're going to need more houses and more families anyway um i think we could probably how many berries we got left 10 i don't think we need to add another person there let's throw one person in the storehouse and let's see what else we got 21 timber How's our food doing? We've got 16 months of food. We've got plenty of food. Someone chopping wood. Let's get one more person back on. One more family, rather. I keep saying person, but it's a family. One more family back on wood cutting. Bandit camp was sighted. Where? Okay, that's, where, that's, that's pretty far over there. That one's still closer and still definitely a problem. Uh, that's something else is that, you know, we definitely should get our manor house built so that we can get a retina as well pretty soon. Uh, yeah, manor, let's see. Okay, that we need clay for that. With clanks and play. And we also need to get a small village. Okay, so we still need to upgrade before we can do that. Okay, that's fine. We'll get to there soon. Let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. Just keep getting some resources kind of coming in the bank. Yeah. We've got winter coming up pretty soon here, so we want to make sure that we have timber and wood. So once we kind of start getting more things built up, I'm going to want to... Uh, yeah, I don't have anything there either. The Forester Hut, pretty soon we're going to probably tap that out because we're not going to need it and get a second person or second family keep saying person second family on wood cutting because we need to keep that going for winter because anyway, we have four months right now but um winter burns through fuel supplies twice as fast so we're we'll, we're actually really realistically we only have about two months of supplies and one family might keep us above water for the duration i'm not really sure if that's really the case People out here picking. Yep, picking berries. I also want to get trade posts so that I can eventually get. Oh, that's annoying. I stole a bunch of firewood too. God. Yeah. I have to deal with those bandits here soon. Oh, yeah, it's annoying. Okay, got a lot of good stuff in the granary. Granary. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, cool, cool. Let's get another person, another family on wood chopping. Oh, we still need an unassigned family to guide the ox. Shoot. Okay. Um, didn't realize that. I thought uh, I thought workers for each thing could come get the ox themselves. I did not realize that. Uh, unless that means it's for the construction, which that might be the case. Well, let's get that at least finished, and then then we'll, we'll deal with uh, the rest. I think the window should go over there. Window should go over there. Apparently. Okay. Good to know. Animals his deposit has gone down a bit, but maybe we really have a lot of food. Let's let's increase the hunting limit because I want to keep make sure that stays decently populated. I 
think we're going to be done with the timber resources for a second. Or maybe what would make more sense is we'll just restrict that work area until that's dry. Okay. So no. But let's take, take them out. Add somebody there. Okay, see where winter is approaching. So now the foragers are done. Let's, I think we can get, let's start getting some stone cut. I think that's a good idea. There it goes. I know something's just kind of funny about it, just uh, tapping all the, <laughs> the rocks and just throwing them over here when it's like five feet away. <laughs> all right, anyway. Let's go on. Church is... Wait a minute. That doesn't sound... Is that bell for church or is that bell for maybe bandits? Hmm. Hmm. I hope it's not bandits. Guess I'll be on the lookout. Oh, that's the saw pit. Sure. That's all good. I still have some of that residual homeless problem. Just in case those bandits show up, I'm going to keep a kind of an eye on this side, from this side of the... Uh, area okay we've got another family moved in I think that's good 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 let's get the logging camp going again a little rabbit Oh, that's not a rabbit. <laughs> uh, I thought that I I just thought the distance it was like a rabbit scurrying around, but no, it's it's the logger. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. So I don't have a whole lot necessarily that I think I want to start working on. We could probably, with the amount of timber we have, I suppose we could start upgrading. We do want to get, we can upgrade a cup because we do want to get, even though we don't, we're not quite necessarily where we would immediately want to be, we probably should do that so that I can get that um, manor house and the retinue and, and a few more things that we can kind of do. So let's, let's upgrade even though we don't, we're not quite to where I would necessarily like to be in terms of uh, our kind of more variety of stuff, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get, be good. At the very least, we have um, some, uh, oops, whoopsie, some, um, four. I thought it was only two. Oh, no, it is four. Okay. I don't know why I was thinking it was only two. Must be thinking, I must have been thinking about the uh, cost to build a, a whole new one. Bring that normal speed for a second while they get in there. There you go. Everyone hammering away. Build it, build, build. Come on. 
All right, back to speeding up. Come on, come on, finish the house, finish the house. Yeah, look at that. All right. Now we'll upgrade that one. So, as you can see, now needs tavern supply and a two-level church, which means at least a small stone church. And then a, a second set of kind of clothing, which can either be shoes uh, or rather than... So this is kind of almost like bare supplies for things. Like they're either hand-making their own clothes or maybe perhaps... Uh, I could see them like... Um, you know, stitching up the clothes they already have. And this is more like they need new clothes to be able to to, to purchase or buy. Oh, did I cut the wrong one? I did. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Uh, but anyway, well, so once this one's done, then we'll, uh, that'll be good. So a stone church will require 10 planks and uh, 20 of the things. Although we already have a lot of, we actually have quite a little bit of stone already here. Let's take that family off. We don't really need that anymore. In fact, let's get the saw pit going, I think. It'd be a good one to start going. Get planks built up again. Uh, we'll have a, uh, and we'll have uh, planks and a lot of stone built, built up. So we'll be able to get a manor house soon and then get kind of the rest moving. We have very high approval right now. Even, uh, so we have plus six, yeah, market, plus six market food, plus five clothing, plus five church level. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. So we also have another development point, which we could spend if we want. So we can double the amount of meat harvested, or we could collect more hides uh, from hunters, which I'm kind of feeling like that's the way to go for now. Because we could turn those hides into more leather, which we can sell. I think that's a good way to go. Although double meat does sound pretty good, but currently right now, we're really doing okay on food supplies. Obviously we're consuming a bit more in winter now, but we're still doing pretty good even without the berries coming in. Um, yeah, I mean, the hunt's still a decent level. We're still collecting. I think we're okay for that. We're gonna be okay with that for now. Um, so let's get the hides. And let's start thinking about um, a trade post. Is that under logistics? It's a pack station hitching post store. No. Is there a trade? Oh, here, trade. Okay. So we have livestock trading, and then we have trading post. So when employed, one family member travels to the nearest possible destination to conduct trade, while other family members help manage the inventory. If needed, assigned families will automatically set up stalls at the marketplace to sell imported goods. Okay, there you go. So, I think we should build this kind of awesome, probably over here along the, the main King's Road. Sounds like a good idea. Like right here at the crossroads would be a good idea, I think. So now we can get that built up. And once we have that, I think I want to get a second oxen, which will cost 20, but that's okay. And maybe we'll upgrade the hitching post to a stable. Might be a good idea. Though I do wonder if I maybe want to move that. No, nah, it's you know what? That's a pretty... Or do I want to maybe move it over a bit before I turn it into a stable? Probably. Maybe a more central, yeah, a more central location like over here could be good. Maybe? I'm not sure. I really don't know. We'll, we'll do it. We'll, do, we'll try it. We'll try moving it. We'll see what happens. Make that high priority. Oops. Whoa. Oops. Sorry about that.
How are we doing on timber? 16? Okay. Keep it going. Oh, new family. Good, 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 good. I like that. I like the I like that we have a new family. So we currently have nine with ten plots, so it'd probably be good to start getting a couple more plots. Let's see. Uh, I could probably do something like four more plots. Um, hmm. Hmm, how do I want to build these? I think I could build, a f I could build some on the, the church road here. What does that look like? Four, no backyards though. And backyards are important. What if I just did something like this? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll drop that lower because we want the hitching post and the trade trade post done first. Getting snowfall coming in. Okay, we got nine months of fuel, even for winter, which is pretty seems pretty good. Let's take one person or one family. I keep doing it. One family off that for now. Let's also think about a clay pit. Further. Oh, yeah, we have a little bit of approval loss because, oh, shoot, we ran out of leather. Um, yeah, that's not good. Let's get the tannery back up. <laughs> Oopsie. That was my bad. I was not paying attention. Let's see, where is that listed? There it is. Yeah, we need more uh, leather coming in. We still have a lot of hides. Got some hides. That's good. leather back up at the very least. Oh, bandits stole our leather. Those bandits. Well, that's... Hmm. Those bandits, really? All the way over there? Okay. Well, <clears throat> that would explain a bit about what happened. Have any more hides? Um, hmm. Okay, let's. One person off that. Let's get. We need to get some more hides coming in. Yeah, we need to tr shoot. We're gonna run out of leather goods if we aren't very careful here. That's very annoying. We do need to get rid of those bandits, but I really want a retinue to back up my militia. So we're going to need uh, clay as well.
trade house. So this is how we could potentially establish a trade route for the cost of some money to be able to import or export certain goods. So if we look at, say, hides, so hides cost uh, 14 to import, and they're worth four to export, which is good to know. Leather costs six, or excuse me, costs six to, uh, gains six by exporting and costs 16 to import. So we could potentially gain some money by, by doing that. Um, also, one of those things about upgrading those houses is every month, uh, each family in those upgraded houses will generate some some uh, money. So we have a little, like a tiny trickle coming in, but it's not that much. Um, and it looks like we also have a new family coming in. So we're about to be full up once again. So hopefully these things are going to get, those new other houses are going to get built up again here pretty quickly. In fact, let's go even faster. Yeah, we don't get as much of a bonus uh, with the uh, stuff anymore. Here they come to finish it. Cool, cool. Okay. That's good. I feel like we might need to upgrade this storehouse already to 20, 20. Uh, It's not even necessarily what I'd want to do with this immediately, but I feel like I might have to. Let's just do it. so funny at that high speed. Someone get the ox. What are we doing here? 13 months food, 10 months fuel. Okay, it's already January. Not too bad. so I can eventually get another ox because I would really like one. Oh, it's climbing back up again. Okay. Let's finish it. Uh, okay. I'm not exactly sure what our goal for this first episode is. Maybe clear out that first bandit camp, or at the very least, we need to get the, the manor house and such. Uh, might as well get someone on clay duty, since we already got, we got three leftover families, and uh, that's, we uh, don't necessarily need all three building, trying to build the one storehouse. So close, come on.
It's almost there. <laughs> We're so close. Come on, Ox. Come on by. Come on back with that log. There we go. Okay, let's get this done, please. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay, that's not gonna take too long. Okay. Let's order another ox. Not exactly sure when it'll get here, but at least we'll have another one coming. Resources have started. Bandits have stolen more resources. All right, that was them for sure. Let's, uh, we need to, God, we need to clear them out. The 20 might be enough, but I'm not certain. Raiders Rummy Lines. Track the movements, yes. Ah. Let's rally the militia, because it looks like we may have some bandits showing up here. Let's rally on over here. Let's see where they're showing up. Oh, I wonder if they're going to clear out the camp, which could be the case. Well, let's go see what we got. So I don't think we are not currently... Yeah, I don't think we're... Well, current relations are a work in progress, but... Anyway, well, let's rally the militia. Because if they're going to attack... Well, I don't see them now. I guess they aren't marching here, and I hope he's not marching to me. Well, you know what? Let's go. Let's go see if we can deal with these bandits right now. Ah, there we go. Outlaws moving. They might indeed be marching towards us. All right, well, we outnumber them. Oh, oh. All right, let's let's fight. I'm gonna keep them on that defensive posture. We're winning pretty handily. Four of them down. That defense bonus, I think, is going to come in clutch of keeping us alive. 
Down to nine. Eight of them. Hey, all right, look at that. And we won. Let's go clear that camp. That's awesome. Let's go clear out that camp. Get some money. Which is what you get for clearing these things, basically. Yeah. clearing the camp? Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Oops. Oh, there we go. Searching through, the, yeah, okay. So we cleared the camp. I was looking for the wrong thing. So we can send resources near his town. Break the, no. Let's take that, I'm taking that to, to my treasury. I want that money. Okay. Now, let's go back to our men. That was great. Let's get back to solid ground, and then we will disband the uh, let's get back to the village and then we will disband unit okay now that winter is over, we should hopefully get some berries coming in soon as well. Alright, and disband. Perfect. Alright, well we got some, some cash for that, that's good. And uh, some, some influence for taking out those bandits. Well, that was good. Okay, and we got our second oxen. Um, good, good, we got, we got things happening. Okay. Um, now, I think what I was going to do before that got that happened was I was going to build kind of another lane over here, and then I was going to put the clay furnace over here. Okay, um, and I probably need to build some more residential areas. So, how much clay do we have in here? Ten. What about clay over here? Well, I know some things probably got gummed up because we uh, had a lot of people um, out fighting. I think we need to get some more timber going. We have a pretty decent amount of planks. What was the amount of planks it took for the um, manor again? 20. So we need 20 for the manor plus 10 for that. So yeah, we do need more. But let's get um, another, another one there on that. I think the woodcutter's lodge is good for now. So we'll get keep two families on construction for, for the moment, but we will also keep, uh, keep two getting some uh, lumber back. We don't really need iron yet, but at some point we'll get to that. Okay, looks like we're Getting pretty good over here in this last piece of timber. Stone for the furnace. I'm assuming that's what the stone's basically used for is to make the furnace.
good. Things are moving along. I know there's not a whole lot necessarily happening, and I'm not the best at commentary, but just kind of showing off the game a bit. See how things go. Okay. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Well, that's what we needed. Okay. So that uses fuel. So I wonder if that means we probably may want to have a nut still keep the person on firewood. Let's do that. Um, that way we don't have too many problems. Just to avoid 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 problems if we can. Also, um, we may I need to start getting okay. The berry deposits are almost full again. Oops. I just want to see what my next one is. Five Burbage plots level level five. Okay. How much does it cost to import barley? Or <sighs> that's pretty expensive. Um, what about is it possible to just import booze? Eighteen also expensive, but not the worst I've encountered. Okay, we can at least put a manor house down for this region. And where do we want to put our manor? We could put it over here, kind of next to the church. It would be overlooking the market, but I don't know if we necessarily want to be there, maybe near the trade house. The other thing that the banner house will allow us to do is start collecting taxes. I think I could also put it kind of down here where it's like overlooking the village, kind of. I mean, it's not really a great, necessarily a great view. We don't have like a, a little, like a rise or a hill really. Well, this is kind of uphill, a little bit. I think that could be a good spot. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a good spot. Let's do that. I have to kind of build it up a little bit. We'll build a tax office right next to it. Okay, this is the castle planner, which we're not going to worry about the castle planner quite yet. We'll build that in the tax office. That's fine. We'll connect. Make the well. We'll keep this one low. So is that medium? Yeah. So we'll at least finish that house first. For those two houses, I guess. Still doing on supplies. Eight months of fuel, ten months of food. Okay, our food our food supplies seem to be stable even with our increased population. So that's good. I am happy about that. So we still have enough planks. Roof tiles are taking some time, it seems like. Hmm. Just need time to build. Oops, another ruler's army. Okay. 
me just cross over to go fight more bandits. I think he's clearing out that camp now. Yeah, he cleared out this other one. Alright, that's good. That'll kind of help me. I probably could go clear out the other one myself if I had wanted to, but I don't, I don't necessarily want to risk losing people We're at this stage. How's the hunting going? We're about at the limit. Okay. Let's keep things kind of building and moving. I don't think we need two people in the storage anymore, so let's get two. Yeah, another bandit camp? That's way over there, okay. Oh, we can, we can get another, we should get the forager hut back up, actually. transport over there yet. Okay, that one's finished. Oh, pff, right is right on time too. Shoot. Construction party low, but do need hey, to you. No off. get those done. There we go. Now we're finally getting some stuff moved over here. Good, 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 good. good. I'm still in the overlay. Yeah. How come we're not getting any more planks? Is it are they all just being used for No, because there's none over there. What's going on? I guess I guess it's probably because the oxes the uh, the oxen, excuse me, are being used to move the logs constantly, so we don't uh, we aren't getting logs moved over to the saw pit. That's my guess at the moment, but um granted I don't know that for sure, but I think that might be what's happening. Go clear that out here soon. Ugh, this bandit's really annoying. Okay. How's the clay furnace doing? Doing okay? Yes, we have. We have enough roof tiles now. We're gonna, I'm gonna keep producing more, but we have the roof tiles that I had wanted. Wait, 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 wait. So we are being claimed. Oh, that. Well, I uh, can't do anything about that. I guess uh, the AI guys is taking that territory. Nothing I can do about that right now. Although I uh, would have thought they could only take territory that was like next to them, but apparently maybe that was wrong, which kind of just going to change. I mean, I kind of wanted to grab that in the first place, but hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's not great. That's not great. But there's nothing I can do about it right now. Oh, I see, that's where you get herbs. It allows foragers to have to grow herbs. Interesting. 25 wealth plus two planks. Okay, keep that in mind. Um, but in the meantime... Uh, oh, these are too... F see, these are too far away already, just where they are. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure what to do about that at the moment. Just 
that one flank finally got delivered. Okay, let's just speed this up. Alex, what are you doing? Guide his cup? Come on! We just leave the ox out there like that. Especially when there's a perfectly good stable. Okay, there we go. That was a little weird. We got a storm coming in, it looks like. Yeah. Supplies over, good, good, good. All right, all right. Come on. Okay, last of that. I got stone. Oh no, sorry, it wasn't the last. I got just need a few more planks, and then almost, almost to the end. Stone. Claim that one. Nothing I could do about that. For now. Maybe eventually we'll be able to get an army and uh, challenge them. Raiders coming in 283 days. Okay. Don't. Oh, there is another beta camp. Way over there. Okay. I'm keep that in mind. Okay, slowly bringing those rocks, the stone over. Drop a timber. Maybe speed things up a little bit temporarily. There we go. Oh, good. Now they're actually constructing it. says new retina assembled so now we have a retina which is more small but it's uh, got they're, they're better armored and uh, morale and all that jazz so that's that's all very good okay that's awesome all right finally okay so we can also adjust taxes so uh, we have land tax and tithe. So this is a percentage of surplus food is given to the church to return for influence. And then we can tithe, um, which I believe it's exactly, I'm not exactly sure how the land tax works. Let's take it, we'll, we'll take a 6% tithe. We're not gonna worry about land taxes yet. We just need to gain some more influence. Um, that's going to be important to uh, for later, um, so we can at least buy up a region. I'd like we really need to get at least Waldbrand done quickly. I would like to get uh, one of these other two is or three, excuse me, as well for sure. But Waldbrand we definitely need because we need to cultivate barley. Um, if we if we if we end up getting cut off, we're pretty much screwed. <laughs> so that's definitely something we need to we need to get done. Um, and let me get, let's also upgrade the church. And I want that on high priority. Okay. Okay, let's get another 
person on the woodcutter's lodge. It looks like I think we need another one there to keep our fuel supplies up. stone. I don't know what the small stone church looks like, so I'm curious to see how this upgrade goes. It's not going to be like a crazy looking improvement, but it's still going to be an improvement. I want to see what that looks like. tiles 41 roof tiles i think we're good on the clay furnace for now and probably the clay pit in fact i'm going to do something bananas and say it's time to get an iron pit going be a little goofy, but that's okay. Peasants work. Hey! Look at that. Oh, that looks, that actually looks really nice. That is a fine looking church. the church level they wanted now. <laughs> that gave us a big boost of influence. It looked like 250 when it came in. That's great. Uh, all right. We are, our resources are doing really well right now. Um, I guess we'll just we want to resume finishing those. What else do we maybe should be doing here well we got we're getting our berries picked i feel like it's about uh, 25 wealth for that uh, i don't know come one, come all. Feast your we could eyes maybe on start fight. getting hmm to think about this if we were to say get the finest pies in all the land. we don't necessarily produce a lot of, i'm kind of thinking to myself we don't produce like a lot of hides with well we get enough we got some weather coming in um we can start thinking about artisanal production but i i don't know exactly 
I wish it would tell me what shoes need to be made. Kind of say for the blacksmith workshop a little bit. Um, or it's like, does it, I wish it would tell me what needs to be. I don't know if the I don't know if the blacksmith only needs iron. I'm not sure. Hmm. All right, well let's get the mining pit done, and I think that'll be good for this second episode here. We'll call it there. Look at that. And there we go. And we'll just throw. We'll just get some a, a lot of uh, mining done real quick so that we can get something going here for terms of iron. Okay. Well, we got our stone church upgraded. Our village is expanding by quite a bit. We've over doubled our population since the start. Um, since the start of this episode, even. We've got 17 families working. We got a lot happening. So I think it's, it's fair to say that we are, have things moving. We got our manor built with the tax office, the tithing, collecting uh, uh, influence for us. I think this is a good spot to stop for the moment um, as we uh, continue on. This will be good. All right, let's get another shot of that church here. All right, now thanks for uh, watching. Um, this is Comrade Snake again. Um, catch you next time.